I worked for a professional wrestling company for about 10 years. I did production. I was a ringside camera guy. I did a lot of ring crew stuff, various other roles, but we had a lot of people come through the door, yourself included. And this story actually includes you. You see, we had Jake the Snake quite a few times, and he was always, quote, unquote, on his best behavior. It was during those years where you never knew what you were going to get from Jake, but we'd had him three times prior, and we actually brought him to my hometown, upstate New York, where there's not a ton of professional wrestling, especially on the independent level. So bringing a big-time star like Jake was a huge deal for the town. And he showed up, and he was in rare form, we'll say. And the noteworthy part of that particular event, the one that I choose to share with everyone anyway, was when he was signing autographs, he would take the Sharpie marker and draw mustaches on all of the children in the crowd. So if they were at eye level and he's sitting at a table, he would just kind of reach across the table and start to draw Fu Manchus. I saw soul patches. I saw unibrows. I didn't see any Charlie Chaplins, thank God. But it was a very bizarre sight to stand on the ring apron and shoot the show, looking around, seeing all these smiling, giddy kids who are happy to just be there watching wrestling with marker all over their face. Oh, I'm so glad that this is an actual show for this guy to call in and to send this story because I remember that day very vividly. I remember seeing all these children with mustaches and just being like, what is happening? Why are all these kids having mustaches on them? And someone explaining to me, Jake is just at the table, just being Jake the Snake Roberts and drawing mustaches on people. And for that, it made it even funnier. And it was so funny to me. And I remember just chuckling, thinking about it on that day when someone told me about it and even days later. And now here we are, probably 12 years later, and I have totally forgotten that story. Like that wasn't even a story I could bring up or tell anybody, but Once someone has reminded me about it, now it's back in my bank. It's part of my vault of stories that I have forever. I was a part of that because I was there and I was watching that happen. And it was so lovely. And it's part of the Wild West of independent professional wrestling stories in which I was a part of. And I've had thousands of them. I can't remember them all. But luckily, this man is here to remember it for me. And that was a time when Jake was a wild man. He was just so crazy i have a picture on my phone that i've never showed anybody but i just had to take a picture for documentary reasons of this very show of him backstage the people in the gorilla position like doing the lights and the music and the edits and him with his just pants down in front of them he just dropped his jeans and was just hanging out in front of them for comedic purposes in his mind i don't know how really funny it was i didn't think it was that funny for those people i thought it was funny in a way of like this is my childhood hero and he's just being a wild man backstage and it's just so crazy. That's who he was and he'll admit it to you. Thankfully, saw Diamond Dallas Page, got a little help, kind of got everything back together and I think we have a more enlightened Jake the Snake Roberts on the scene these days but back in the day, this man, you, you wanted to bring him in. He drew money. People knew who he was but he was a wild card. Hence why I think there's a lot of Jake Roberts stories on this podcast and that that was one of them. He just drew mustaches on kids just because he had a Sharpie, was bored, and wanted to. It's amazing. Just amazing. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly wherever you listen to your podcast. Go subscribe. While you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.